Hi everyone, it's Ken LaRue from the Shotgun Team, and here's our tip of the day in our 30 tips in 30 days. Today we're going to talk about project templates. Very often in a studio, whether it's film, television, or even games, you will customize the shotgun project to conform to your needs. The entities and all the different elements you can add and control inside a shotgun. And you want to repurpose that once you're done with a specific project. So for example, if I go to my projects and I go to Big Buck Bunny, this is a short animated film. And we've already spent a lot of time going into the project tracking settings where we've altered and changed the different fields and steps and statuses with the shots, go into the systems, the pages, properties, and so on. All of this has been set up to exactly how we want it to work. Now I want to create a new project and I want to base it off of this existing project without having to go back and reset up all that information. Well, that's what's great about the project templates is you can save them from any project such as this one and then repurpose them. So if I go back up to my project action flyout, I can choose save as template. Now I can come in here and give this template a name such as animated short film. And then I click create template. Now the template is being created. Now I want to create a new project and I can do that in several different ways. I could go to the new entity flyout or I could go back to the welcome to shotgun page where there is a create a project button. In my templates is going to be the animated short film. Here's the template that I just created based on the big buck bunny project. So now I can name this new project Dave's crazy night and choose create project and my new project Dave's crazy night will have all of the same settings that the big buck bunny project because I've used the template that was based on the big buck bunny project now keep in mind if all of a sudden you realize the big buck bunny project wasn't the project you really wanted to base this on you can change it if I go back to the project action flyout I can choose change project configuration now I have a list of all the different projects that are available to me on this shotgun site that I can use as the template when I change the configuration. If I choose another project, I then have the ability to overwrite either project navigation pages, record detailed pages, custom pages, and tracking settings. And if I do not want one of them to be overwritten, I could choose that. Now remember, when you click next, you are gonna be asked to confirm this change because this is a permanent change to this project and it will affect everybody that is part of the project and you cannot undo this. So there are multiple checkpoints you have to enable before you can do the change. So that's how you can create templates based on existing projects and then how you can create a new project and base it on those existing templates. That's our tip for today, 30 tips in 30 days.